Hello guys, welcome back. What's up? Have you ever been trapped in a loop where you were spending more money than you were bringing in? Due to a lack of money, have you been unable to regularly save? Are you telling yourself, I'm weary of being broke all the time? You're not alone yourself. Having said that, you can alter your circumstances. However, you'll need to prepare, develop healthier habits, and maintain consistency. So keep watching to see how to stop being broke in five steps. Be in charge of your money. Realizing that you are in charge is the first step in improving your financial situation. Taking control of the situation and realizing that you're in charge will result in good change, regardless of how you got there. Money did not control you at any point in life, despite what you may have felt or thought. Both the amount of money you earn and the amount you spend are within your control. You may also study anything about personal finance that you might not already know and take steps to become better. Change your attitude. You have undoubtedly heard a lot of people claim that you need to think positively in order to create and sustain positive change. When you're poor, it's quite simple to focus on the bad. If and or when things become difficult, changing your perspective from one of negativity to positivity can inspire and drive you. Although it won't always be simple, having a good attitude about money can help a lot. Additionally, changing your thinking will alter your actions and aid in improved decision making. When you have a favorable end in mind, you act differently. Write down all of your unfavorable or constricting ideas and beliefs if you're having trouble developing a good mentality. Consider how your financial practices may have been influenced by these ideas. Once you have listed all of your negative ideas regarding money, try to come up with a good concept to counter each one. Affirmations that are positive are the simplest approach to this. Think, I have plenty of money, as opposed to, I'm weary of being broke. Changing your thinking enables you to enter the phase of action. It also lessens some of the worrying financial thoughts and gives you desire to start planning and budgeting. Set up a budget. It's time to do some math and move on to more concrete steps now that you're starting to work through and overcome some of the mental obstacles. Set aside some time to construct a budget if you don't already have one that you can use. One of the best things you can do to plan and work your way out of financial trouble is this. Start by compiling a list of all your income sources and outgoing costs. Examine previous bank and credit card statements to discover where your money has been going so that you may examine your current cost and spending patterns. This will make it easier for you to identify places where you may make savings. Pick the appropriate budgeting strategy. Make a hard copy or electronic copy of a budget for your next paycheck after you are aware of your financial situation and spending patterns. By selecting the finest budgeting strategy you can maintain, you may make this easy. Some people discover that the 50-30-20 budgeting strategy enables them to increase their savings. With this approach, you divide your income into percentages to cover your costs, discretionary spending, and savings. Therefore, 50% of your income is allocated to meeting your basic necessities, shelter, food, etc., 30% to your desires, and 20% to savings. Utilizing the 80-20 rule can further simplify this approach, because you allocate 80% of income to requirements and desires, while saving the other 20%. This guideline is easy to follow. The 7-20-10 rule, 60-30-10 rule, and 30-30-30-10 rule are other budgeting strategies. There are several tools and budgeting techniques to choose from, so if one doesn't work, don't feel trapped. To stop being broke forever, try out several strategies and discover which one helps you save more money. Be more thrifty to avoid bankruptcy. Reduce the funding allotted to those areas now that you have determined which categories you may cut down on. When attempting to bring your costs below your income, cutting down on your greatest expenses, housing and transportation, will have the most effect as opposed to penny-pinching the little things. If it's possible, think about downsizing or relocating to a less costly house or apartment to cut down on your housing costs. If you have a vehicle that needs a lot of repairs and maintenance, you could consider replacing it with a less costly model in order to lower your commuting costs. Be more thrifty in the other areas of your life where you spend the most money too. Prepare and cook meals at home more often. The ease of takeaway will consume a big portion of your cash. Prepare more of your meals at home to save money and prevent going over your budget. By organizing your meals around the weekly ad for your grocery shop, you may even save money. Stop buying for things that are not needs. A no-spin challenge is an enjoyable method to put your self-control to the test and raise your awareness of your spending patterns. It will also enable you to plan your spending better and determine how to obtain the most value for your money. Create a financial strategy overall. Take charge and decide where you want your money to go. We've reached the conclusion of this video. Let us know what you think in the comments area below. 
Give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of our forthcoming videos. Thank you for taking the time to watch. Take care till the next video and good luck.